Benno chart here. And as promised, I'm going to give you an update on the Hogue 2, the Hogue 2 from Santa Monica Filtration, which you see, you see over my shoulder right here in the aquarium. And uh, I'm going to give you an update of how that thing has come along, how it's developed, um, and uh, what it's doing in the tank, and how it is being used to control uh, nitrates, uh, to reduce nitrates, and also to reduce uh, carbon dioxide, and add oxygen to the tank which are all things that algae does naturally. So let's talk about uh, nitrate reduction uh, naturally, the way nature does it, okay? Let's go. Nature uses a natural system for filtration and a very important part of that system is the use of algae. Algae is nature's uh, natural filtration system. You can read about that over at the uh, Santa Monica Santa Monica Filtration webpage, where it talks about how algae is what nature uses to add oxygen to water, remove carbon dioxide, and help control nitrates. It's all done naturally with with algae. So the whole whole concept of an algae scrubber is to take nature's uh, natural filtration system of algae and use it, and use it to, uh, to help keep a tank in good balance with reduced nitrates, plenty of oxygen, and reduced carbon dioxide. This is the uh, Hogue 2 unit from Santa Monica Filtration. It has a little bit of mineral buildup on it, as you can see. I live in a very, very hard water area, Southern California. Our water is very hard. And uh, it just hangs on the tank there. Uh, you could just as easily put it uh, between a uh, background and the back wall. My back wall happens to be painted black, so I didn't want to scrape that off. But you could do that. You could hide it uh, behind a 3D background, and that would work fine if you don't like it uh, hanging there. Here it is from the back. And... Um, I don't find it that obtrusive. It's pretty thin. You see it from the profile there. And uh, it took a little while to get it to come along at first. Uh, you know, that's the hardest part about these units, these uh, algae scrubbers, at least in my case, was to get it uh, going. You can see here a couple photographs of uh, what, was, what developed after a lot of tweaking. To get it going, you need to um, tweak the amount of LED light exposure how long you expose it, sometimes you cover the LEDs to reduce the uh, intensity of them, how many hours you run it up and down and you tweak it until you get it just right. You can see inside of it now, I'll just twist this and take the back of it off, you can see the algae that has developed inside of it. It is very, very thick algae. And we can look at it, look at it close up there with some light. It's a very deep, deep green. And that algae, as it's circulating, which the bubbles are helping it to uh, circulate water, is removing nitrates, consuming carbon dioxide, and releasing oxygen into the tank. and you can see it's fully covered now. It's lost that white ball spot it had in the middle, which was the hardest part for me to get covered. You can see there's some nice green algae uh, growing on the glass, responding to the, uh, the perfect light frequency provided by the LEDs. If the bubbles bother you, if you don't like the sound of the bubbles, you can also, of course, adjust the entire unit the way I have. I simply run it near the top here and almost perfectly quiet. Of course the real test is, um, let's see if it reduces nitrates. This is a, um, this is a NutriTest uh, kit, kit from Seachem. Seachem 
test nitrites and nitrates. Let's go right to the uh, nitrate test. My nitrites are at zero, ammonia is zero, chlorine is zero. Let's see here. One drop of uh, this bottle number two, bottle number one rather, nitrate one. And then you do one level cap full of the night. That was a nitrite one rather, one drop of nitrite one. And then you do one level, one level cap full of nitrate two. Give it a little stir. And let's see here, not the easiest one to match up, but it's, let's see, that's getting a little bit too dark, let's come back a little bit, let's see right in this range right here, let's go a little bit conservative and go here. So we're, we're somewhere in, in 20, to 30 range and <clears throat> normally my tank tends to run in the around 40 35 to 40 so when you take into consideration that the tank w had new stock added to it and um, so it's it's heavier it's more heavily stocked than it was before and I am down in the sort of 25 to 30 range, I would say that that uh, algae scrubber is doing something of value from what I can tell here. As an additional point of comparison, I've gone ahead and also um, run a Easy Strips Tetra. I know some of you folks don't like the Easy Strips. Some people love them. I mean, some people say they're even more accurate than or just as accurate based on comparisons. But this one it was uh, dipped in there for a second. It's been sitting here for about 30 seconds. So let's take a look here what we got on the easy strips. Let's see here. Yeah, it looks, it looks lighter than that. Yeah, we're, we're sitting around 25, 30, you know, we're, we're, everything else you can see looks good. You can see here, very hard water, extremely hard water, and uh, zero chlorine, zero nitrite, and uh, let's see here, very bright green there, it's pretty green. To the naked eye, this one looks more like uh, 120 on total alkalinity to the naked eye. And also to the naked eye, it looks like we've got uh, pH at about 7, maybe 7.5, somewhere in there on the naked eye. Um, naked eye, night, let's see here. Yeah, to the naked eye, the camera may, it changes a little bit going back and forth, but naked eye, I'm looking at about 25 nitrates, which is very low for the level of stock I have in my tank currently and very low compared to what I was running normally. So I would say that, uh, yes, yes, this tank uh, is actually getting a benefit from the algae scrubber. So that's the update on the algae scrubber. I think overall it is doing a good job and it is helping to reduce nitrates, uh, especially when you consider that there is an increase in stock in the tank. And I, would, I was expecting to sort of end up at around 35 to 40. Instead, I'm in the 25 to 30 range. Now, uh, full disclosure, I have continued to do uh, water changes. 
So I don't think you are water change free, but that routine has remained the same. The only thing that has changed actually is I have added more stock to the tank. So if anything, uh, if the algae scrubber was not doing anything, I would have expected to be closer to the 30 to 40 range in my nitrates. Instead, I'm in the 25 to 30 range, which I consider to be uh, a fairly safe range. I know some of you shoot for zero and uh, good for you. And uh, at any rate, <clears throat> that's it. If you have any questions about the uh, algae scrubber uh, or any ideas about reducing nitrates naturally, please post them below. If you have any experience with algae scrubbers, uh, please post them below. Post what you've uh, learned or know about them. I'm always looking for more information. And in my next uh, video, I'm going to take a page out of Evan Alexander's book and I'm going to uh, hide some of the equipment that you see in my tank and uh, create a sort of natural overflow using the 3D background. So stay tuned for that. It should be uh, kind of interesting and hopefully remove some of the equipment that you see in the tank. I'm going to have to do some cleaning behind the 3D uh, background and I figured while I'm back there I'm going to do a few changes that might result in being able to hide some of the equipment. So thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, be sure to hit the logo when it appears over here and uh, you can sub this, the channel and also be sure to visit uh, the group, fa uh, the Facebook group, Ben O. Apostrophe Cichlid and uh, follow on Instagram at Ben uh, dot O dot Cichlid. All right. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. You are appreciated. All right. Bye-bye.